Now we will talk about how these uh, printed circuit boards are made. What we have in front of us is a single uh, sided board. The components on, are on the top side and the artwork and the foil, the copper foil is on the bottom side. So how is a board like this made? First we start with a blank piece of copper board like this. Um, it will have copper on one side, on the other side will be just the fiberglass. And then the aim is to be able to imprint on this side the artwork which will go and uh, eventually be printed onto the back of the board. Here is the artwork that will go onto this board. Typically uh, this is done on the computer and uh, this is transferred to a uh, transparency using a method very similar to the way we used to uh, print pictures years ago. It's a photolithographic method. And then using photolithography we transfer this artwork onto the copper board. And here is an example of a finished copper board where the artwork has been transferred. If I bring the artwork, artwork and pr pr put it side by side, you can see for example here up on the top, you can see the five holes here, here are the five holes, you can see these trays coming up and moving to the right. So we were able to imprint the artwork onto the uh, back side of this copper port and then after the artwork is imprinted then using a chemical process in the area where we didn't have any artwork where we didn't have any traces uh, like in this area right here using a chemical process we remove the copper which goes on this side and then the only thing that's left is the copper which was covered um, by the artwork the places where the copper um, will uh, will accept the components and the soldering needs to be done. It is left uncovered like it is shown here. In the areas where the copper traces, uh, they just uh, need to be, they don't need to be covered. No soldering need to be, needs to be done to them. They are covered with a layer of lacquer which will uh, keep them from oxidizing and this port will last a long time. And again, the areas where you see exposed copper right now, eventually when the board is populated, will be covered with solder. And here is an example of a finished uh, product. So after the components are soldered, then no copper is left exposed anymore, and there's no chance or risk of oxidation.